I'm at the Museum of Country Life in Castle Bar and uh, I couldn't think of a nicer place to tell you a little story. Right now there's an exhibition here called The Murmur of Bees and it mentions St. Gobnut. Now, a couple of reasons why I wanted to mention this because first of all my name is Debbie and my name in Irish translates to Gobnut, which I always hated and have been generally mortified when people have called me that. But also um, because it's June and the bees are super important. <laughs> so I'm here in this little recreated house, isn't it lovely? It just shows you a traditional cottage, what it would have looked like. Now it exposes some of the walls and the ceilings and things. But I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Gobnut. So anyway, oh, Gobnut, she was a woman from the 5th century and she is famous for bees. Now I often wondered, well, why was she famous for bees? It turns out that she, there was a widow and she was poor and the bailiffs came to take her cattle and take all her belongings. And in her desperation, she beseeched Gubnut. There was a statue there down in Ballyvorney in County Cork. She beseeched Gubnut to help her out. And sure enough, Gubnut turned up, a big tall woman with a beehive. And in the beehive, there was lots of bees. And what did she do? When the bees came out of it, they turned into soldiers and the soldiers chased away the bailiffs. So that's one way of dealing with the police and the bailiffs, isn't it?